Tell me about the moment, Ansel, when you got the call and they said, you're Tony. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was just like unbelievable and really emotional. And uh, I wasn't supposed to tell anyone. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, called my parents and we were all a puddle of tears. I know. I, I think Stephen called everyone personally, right? Except for Rachel. <laughs> Rachel got brought in, in the room. Oh, yeah, well that's, that's even better. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but when Ansel was there, that was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> that was really good. That that day we did like we were just walking around the studio and doing scenes, and it felt really right. Yeah. I remember that that day. I, I will say it's, it was better than the it fire was escape than the day juice because day. the orange juice day. Neither of us got the roles. I know you think I no, got the role. Yeah. I did not get the role. I was that convinced day. Ansel had gotten the role that didn't. the day of our screen test because Stephen came up to the fire escape when we were done and said, "You really surprised me today," and shook his hand, and I was like, "Oh my god." Yeah, but it, I, it was, but I still didn't. didn't. No, yeah. definitely not. Because yeah, I had didn't. to do a lot more auditions. You didn't get after it that. until like September, and that was July. But the, but the day that we did the screen test, yes. I felt yeah. I don't know. It felt really good it together, and I remember Rachel singing Ella Fitzgerald and us you talking did. about her dreams of going to Paris, and which she yeah. just went and looked amazing at the Dior <laughs> show. <laughs> and then we did a scene, and Stephen was had his little camcorder and. We were we were walking in a circle, basically doing like a you know scenes that Tony Kushner wrote so many scenes for this that we kind of tried out and cut or put in mm -hmm. uh, for dur during the Tony and Maria date, yeah. and then uh, a lot of iterations. Of and then they just kind of dropped the bomb that okay, <laughs> this is this is it. You guys are Tony and Maria. Yeah, it was really cool to do that in person. That must have been amazing. Yeah. It had to be amazing. Rachel, who all was in the room when you got? What was what was that situation oh when you got? Because you were just a senior in high school. Yeah, they brought my mom in because my mom had come into the city with me that day, and so they brought my mom in. Cindy Tolan, our casting director, was there. Her casting associate, Nicholas Petrovich, and uh, Steven Spielberg, and I think maybe Christy Macosco Krieger, our, our producer, was yeah. in there as well. Um, and and then Ansel and myself, and and they brought me back into the room. They had sent Ansel and I out, and brought my mom in, and then brought us back in. And I put my water bottle on the floor, thinking we were going to do the scene again. And I stood up, and everyone had wait. Well, I don't know. What did you think was going to happen? I, I thought there was an interve intervention happening because I stood up, <laughs> and everyone had formed wow, a semicircle. Wow, did you semi need an intervention? I, what was I going must on? have. It was like, <laughs> hey, Rachel, you've been coming in for us for a year now, and we're just wondering why you keep showing up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is an intervention, and also you're Maria. But yeah, I stood up and they had formed this semicircle around me and Steven just kind of slowly approached and said, I want you to be Maria. And I screamed a curse word and then said, this has been the longest year of my life because I had auditioned from January 25th to January 9th of the next year. So it was a really long process of going in and losing hope. And it's wild, but it worked and, and I'm really happy that it did.